As a leader, or as a manager, or a director, or a CEO, or C-suite executives, it's so much important to have a really good productive day. What does it mean, a productive day? For me, for a productive day means you do what you really need to be done well, plus your actions and your thought and your strategy was empower, inspire, and guide other people in the team so they can do the best thing they need to do as well too. So for doing this one thing, one of the main things you need to do is about having your productive day for yourself. How to do that? Congratulations, because in this video, I'm going to give you a total seven tips which can really help you to any roles, any leadership role you are in, in a company or even entrepreneurial life, you will be able to use those tips to make your day a great productive day. And you not only that, with this one, you will be able to transmit a great message to your team members so they will also become a great productive and they will also have a great day as well too. You want that right? So let's get started. Number one tips is focus on your breathing. It's so much crucial to do understand your breathing, how you're breathing at work. Sounds like a cliche, but actually it's not. Like an example, we normally when you are at work or we're doing something, there are the two things always happen to us. Number one, in defensive mood and when we are in exploration mood. So when you are excited about something, when you want learning something, when you want to see that we're making progress and that look, look create some kind of an exploration mood. But when you get bored, when you get anxious, that's the time our, our breathing speed go up or go down. So that is the point is into it. You need to pay attention to your, your breathing. If you see that your breathing is going up or going down, you need to really pay attention in order to align the right speed for your breathing speed. So you will be able to understand, oh, you are actually moving out to a, a, a kind of a difficult mode. So now you need to drag yourself up. So always look into pay attention to your breathing and that will help you to have your first tips to have a great productive day at work. Number two, give other people the benefit of doubt. You have no idea what people are going through and when they're working with you. You may staff, you're going through maybe you're meeting a customer, you're meeting to different kind of other peoples around you or maybe your partners or you have other people. So they have so many problems. You probably never know that the, the team members that you're going through, maybe they had a bad conversation with their wife or their husband or they had a problem about the children at home. You probably the meeting person you're meeting about with your clients and you felt like you're that the clients is undereducated, but you probably never knows that what is the person go through. Maybe he, he was coming from such an undereducated family. And if you know all the story, you will probably never want to actually tell them it's their fault. It's because they have other problems and that's the way they're presenting yourself like that. So this is the point is when you are trying to address other people mistake, it's very much easy to say why they do, why, why are like that? They're so bad, but it's so much important that you probably also reacting how into that one also make the things different too. But if you just give them the benefit of doubt, okay, they have a particular problem. So that's why they are like that. Then the things are quite different into that one too. So then you will not be in a more, more, or reactive mode, but you're more about empathetic mode and you will think about how you can deal with that situation and that will help you to have a great productive day. So that's the tip number two. Tip number three, focus on your to-do list. So there's a lot of talk about to-do list. So when you're starting a particular day, you understand what your, the things you want to get it done today. But however, you need to identify what are the top most important tasks, what is the top second important task, and what is the top three in uh, top third in important task? So you need to really understand your design your all day, but you also need to pick up the top one, two, three task of the day you need to achieve on that day too. And you need to focus on that. Because if you don't focus, then the other task, let's say seven, eight, 10, 15 rank, whatever amount of task you have done in a day, will try to overtake your top three. And end of the day, will make you unhappy about the day because it's so much important when you're doing so many things, you need to get the right things done in the right moment because if you don't do it, you will feel like you did not achieve or accomplish the thing you need to do. And that's a big problem because that dissatisfaction will make you uh, feel like an unsuccessful person, a loser mindset. And that is not a good thing for you because that is not gonna make you feel 
happy about your work and when you're not happy about your work that will significantly downgrade your motivation to perform well about your task too and that is the why this is the core you really need to figure out top one two three four of the day and you get them done and then you work, do the rest i'm not telling you to re skip the rest but you need to focus about top one two three and on this one my tips is this one if you pick up top one two three focus to get them done in the morning as long as these are creative planning and analytical thoughts do it in the morning do not do after lunch that is not the time to do it for those things because that time your brain is much more into a space where it, they, they're not really doing product because according to science we know that from 1 p.m to 2 p.m or 3 p.m is the least productive time our brain because that's the time our brains like productivity goes down and then after 3 p.m it pumps up again so that downfall you don't want to do such an important aspects of your work and put it at less efficient state so that's my tips on that one too number four the must help task so as you are a leader as you are a manager there's a lot of requests coming from other team members too as well so you get a lot of of, of delegating or uh, helping or advising and consulting different kind of tasks inside your team. So in this one is about you need to also figure out the what are the different tasks and you really need to filter them. It's a very much important how you can filter this one. So when you're filtering this, this one into it, you need to basically have to filter into three categories. Number one in, in your filtering the task which you can delegate to other team member who can help them about the thing they request coming to. Number two is about the thing you can actually say no is actually you are not going to help because this is not your area of expertise and you can just simply say no as well too. And number three is about you actually figure out that this is the thing you want to help and this is your area of capability and this is something related to your goal as well too. So now you can do it and help them on the, that thing as well too. So that's the way you need to filter your task which you want to do to help other team members as well too and this filtering process works great number five manage your calendar this is very important aspect because you need to manage your calendar like an example if you're going through a day you should be preparing your calendar what is inside the calendar for you in the tomorrow so you manage everything you want to focus about in the calendar so i just mentioned about when it comes to getting things done about about in a productive manner you know what is your top one two three put them in the calendar in the morning and get them done in the morning and then the what is the thing you want to do in the afternoon put in the calendar you need to get them into the afternoon but here is like i mentioned the top three important tasks if you plan in the morning you could have the pleasure of great things done on the day number six in things with high node you will be achieving small tasks like an example you could create some kind of reward package for yourself like an example when a particular team member getting a great thing done you come back and give them a particular great tips about or give them reward you tell them that they will be promoted and you you say some really great feedback about them which is a great thing but here's the point is about you also need to learn how to celebrate your success as well because as a leader you're also driving some kind of key initiatives as well too so whenever we finish any particular milestone you should be thinking about finishing it in high note. It could be reward yourself as a new shirt. It could be reward yourself a, a candy or it could be even reward yourself um, about a, a great music you're thinking about. It could be reward yourself to going to movie with your loved one as well on this weekend. So this is the way you can plan your reward mechanism and also set a high note thing to finish it up as well too. And number seven, this is called gratitude list. Whenever you're doing a passing through your day, always think about what are the key things you have achieved and also think about how grateful you are. It's so much important to actually have a gratitude list. Like an example, when in the end of the day, when you're finishing your work, you should be thinking about what things we have achieved and how grateful you are to be healthy, to be on or, and be at work on times, so how, how, how grateful you are to that particular team member who really did a great work and you, guess, and, and you can actually walk to, the, to them in, during the office last hour so thank you for your great work that was a that was a great thing to do so that gratitude effect will make you feel like a great um, day you have matured and get things you have done and you also share encourage them to keep them good good thing as well too and it's actually motivate you to start the next day for achieving something and accomplishing something great thing as well too so that is why these are so seven things to be done including the gratitudes 
can make you get a very productive day. If you're facing any challenges for yourself or your particular team members or your particular division or your company about how to have a product, increase your productivity and have to make them more motivated to the great things, um, put, put your comment below in the description, in, um, under the descriptions. Myself and my team definitely go on and gonna help you out and give you success. And so you can give you the advices so you can solve the problem as well too. And, and if you put a comment below, definitely you're gonna get you know, hear from for us and get the advice so you can become successful. And here you go, you're professionals, you are, are gonna be successful and you are gonna be a great leader. And this is our seven tips. Let's go ahead, use it in your career and your company and become great successful. All the best. Thank you.